Gearheads I have some bad news today. The era of iconic muscle cars has come to an end. The chapter for both the Dodge Challenger and the Dodge Charger has finally closed for these two demons that dominated the streets around the world. Without delay, the Dodge Charger the Charger made its debut in 1966 as a two-door flashy flash and has since become one of the most recognizable and best cars from Dodge. If you don't believe me, Dodge has sold over 78,389 Chargers in 2021 and 80,365 in 2022, outselling both the Ford Mustang and Chevrolet Camaro. It sounds like domination to me. But its downfall started in 2023 when it sold only 24,604 units. The main recognition of Dodge is its aggressive eyes and its special 6.2-liter V8 Hemi supercharged engine that delivers over 700 horsepower. This makes the Charger go from 0 to 60 in a mere 4.5 seconds. The Charger is known for its Hemi engine, as the word Hemi refers to its hemispherical combustion engines. The Charger has had different variants in different years, but the main variant is none other than the SRT Hellcat. With a top speed of 203 miles per hour, it's one of the most powerful production sedans ever created. But then, to push the level even higher, you have the special limited edition Black Ghost, with an amazing horsepower of 800 under the hood. Some other variants were Charger Daytona and the Super B that had enhanced performance but didn't get much recognition. <sighs> There's a lot to talk about when it comes to chargers, but this will make the video too long. No! God, please, no! No! The last charger was a Scat Pack wide body model painted in Destroyer Gray. Now, the Dodge Challenger. The Challenger was a great challenger to the likes of the Ford Mustang and Chevrolet Camaro. It's renowned for its powerful engine and the iconic Hemi V8 engine. It goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds, with a top speed of about 200 miles per hour. Pretty solid for an old-timer car. The Challenger was introduced in 1970 as a response to other muscle cars. The 1970 Challenger RT is the most sought after and rarest car among collectors. Only nine were made, making it highly valuable. The Challenger was also a favorite among racers in the 1970s for drag racing. Dodge took performance to extreme levels when the Challenger SRT Demon was introduced with 808 horsepower and up to 840 horsepower with the Demon Crate. Dodge sold over 54,314 Challengers in 2021 and 55,245 in 2022, but only 24,275 Challengers were sold in 2023. Dodge won't discontinue Challengers, but the Hemi V8 engine will be replaced with electric batteries. Challenger was also a fierce opponent to its brother, Charger. Dodge has confirmed that there will be no Hemi V8s in 2024, and a new concept of Daytona SRT was launched that retains some traits of the classic American muscle car. Okay. The last Challenger made by Dodge was also manufactured at Stellantis' Brampton Assembly Plant in Ontario, Canada. It was an SRT Demon 170 in pitch black color. More hype was given to the Charger and Challenger for their final moments, including a number of last call special editions that concluded in the Challenger SRT Demon 170, which can produce up to 1,025 horsepower when run on E85 fuel. Now it's time, folks. Time for the worst news that you'll hear today. A nostalgic a conqueror, and a pure classic car is being discontinued as well. We won't see any new car from this breed, and it's our beloved Nissan GTR. When you hear GTR, the first thing that comes to your mind are those revs and those Godzilla eyes. Nissan GTR first launched in December 2007. The eighth miracle of the world and the successor of Nissan Skyline was Nissan GTR, aka Godzilla. It produces an amazing 565 horsepower using its 3.8 liter twin turbo charged V6 and attains 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 2.7 seconds. 
The Nissan GTR, a high-performance sports vehicle, appears to be approaching the end of its journey. This is due to Nissan discontinuing the GTR in other countries and removing it from the company's official India website, according to reports. The Japanese automaker hasn't made a formal announcement or provided confirmation that the car is being discontinued. But it has launched the My 2023 GTR, which will go on sale abroad in the coming months. Let's hope it's not true because GTR and its looks are just beyond the horizons. Such cars come once in a century and if it's discontinued, my last hope of living is the Supra. <laughs> Most of you might not like it that much, but this last one is a special one. The Ford GT It's hard to tell, but the era of Ford GT is coming to an end. The iconic GT put Ford on the map, but it's not going off with a puff. Ford GT is going out with a bang. <laughs> the last Ford GT will be one of the fastest that the company has to offer. The legendary Ford GT40 Mark IV serves as the model for the Ford GT Mark IV supercar, which amplifies everything. But wait, there's something more. Ford engineers gave the last GT everything they had, drawing inspiration from the race car that won the Le Mans in 1967. It's anticipated that the Ford GT will include a racing gearbox, a longer wheelbase, and over 800 horsepower, which is a huge increase from 660 horsepower. If that sounds like it might be too much for the street, that's because it is. This GT won't be street legal. There will only be 67 handcrafted vehicles made, and each one will cost 1.7 mil. The Ford twin-turbo V6 engine producing more than 800 horsepower would be linked to a proper racing gearbox, rather than the standard car's 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The only place the GT may be driven is on the track, where its enhanced power output should be easier to handle thanks to the improved suspension, longer wheelbase, and center-lock wheels. A proper farewell to a priceless generation. There are still a lot of other companies that are discontinuing some of their iconic signature cars like the Audi TT TTS, Ferrari F8, and the Lamborghini Aventador. But these cars we talked about have a special place in everyone's heart. And before I log off, I have a question for all of you. Do you think that gasoline or diesel-powered cars are going to go goodbye as the future of vehicles continues to evolve? We've already talked about some muscle cars being replaced by electric cars. Is it only a matter of time before every car becomes electric, or is that a future that we're never going to actually see? The Tesla Cybertruck recently released, and a lot of people have been comparing it to other trucks that are gasoline-powered. Is the future electric, or does gasoline and diesel still have a place? Let me know your thoughts on this topic in the comment section below. If you like this video, then watch this next video about a supercar that's hydrogen-powered, the Hyperion XP1.